All right, so this right here is probably my favorite fall time crankbait. It's just a little Bandit 200. And this is just the bone, the all white bone color. And it, this thing will probably go, I don't know, five, six feet, four to six feet, I think is what it says on the package. But this is hands down my favorite crankbait to throw in the fall. It's the perfect size, I mean, perfect size crankbait. It's got, got a little bit of rattle to it. It doesn't have like the loud BBs, it's just like a, a, a soft rattle. And this thing, I mean, it's just the perfect size. I mean, this time of year, the shag get real little. The fish don't want to eat anything too big. And it's got to look, it's got to match the hatch, you know. That's what everybody says. It's got to be the perfect size. And this, the hooks that I've got on it right here are like the KVD round bend hooks, the size six. You can see that they're the round bend. And then these are the other hooks that I'll throw on it. The Owner Stinger ST36. I'm pretty sure that's just like the best hook you can probably get. These, these two hooks right here, the KVD triple grip, and these. And this is a crankbait that I'll throw in real clear water when the sun's out. If there's, if there is, you see a ball of shad or they come up schooling on shad, this is the one that I'm gonna throw right here. And if, say the wind, the wind gets up real, real high and it gets pretty muddy, or you know it's early in the morning or late in the afternoon, or you know you're in some dingy water, this right here, I mean, it's the same same bandit, just that chartreuse and black. And even when the water is not that dirty, this right here still works really good because you know everybody everybody throws a crankbait and a spinnerbait fluke this time of the year. So when they see this going by them real quick, they'll just react to it. it it's the it's the right size. I mean, it might not be the exact same color as a shad, but they just see it go by and they'll react to it. I actually fished. The, uh, the BFL Regional at Lake Cherokee a couple weeks ago as a co-angler, and I had five and a half pounds total for the tournament, which doesn't sound like much, but I actually ended up finishing in the, in the 30s in that tournament because it was so tough, and I was throwing this behind my boaters, and on the first day, I caught a three-pounder on it, and the second day, I caught about a two-and-a-half pounder on this exact bait right here. So in the fall... This is the crankbait that I'm gonna be throwing. Usually about a six and a half foot, seven foot medium rod, six to two to one gear, ratio reel, and 10 to 12 pound line. If the water is real clear, I'll throw 10. And if it's muddier or I'm around, around wood or rocks, I'll throw the, throw the 12 pound line. But yeah, once you tie this on in the fall, you're pretty much gonna get a bite eventually if you just keep throwing it. 